Well, hello there. I'm Pete LaFrance, the old growler. Welcome to Meeting Expectations. What we do, we take a look at a can or a bottle of beer. Here we go. And we read everything that's on the label. Sometimes a wine or a spirit will drop by. We're all friends in fermentation. We take a look at the artwork. We find out what they're trying to sell us. We crack it open and see if it meets expectations. Of course, there are a couple of things they have to look out for. First of all, we always use the same glassware. That way nobody has a leg up when it comes to clarity or aromatics. And I always sip before I sniff. Why? I'll let wine expert Fred Dex explain it all to you up there. And finally, we always serve our beers at the correct temperature. Ales, 50 to 55 degrees Fahrenheit, and lagers, 37 to 47 degrees Fahrenheit. The folks at Thermoworks sent me a nice one of their lollipop pens, uh, thermometers, and that way I make sure that all the beers are served at the correct temperature. There's a link to the Thermoworks folks down in the description box. All right, what do we have today? From the other half brewing company, Oh, this is a cool, I was looking at the label when I bought this one and I wasn't paying attention. I just, I go into the beer store and you know, kind of one, two, three, four, these are, I haven't tried. Whoa, this one, <coughs> this is Broccoli is Dead. Huh? Broccoli is Dead, double dry hopped Imperial India Pale Ale. Broccoli and, Im <laughs> Let's keep reading. Okay, hops. Mosaic, Strata, Nelson Sauvin, S-A-U-V-I-N, Sauvin. Simcoe, Strata, C-G-X, Nielsen Sauvin, Charlie Golf X-Ray. Now, <sighs> that's too much information, folks. I got no idea what any of those hops are. But they're gonna tell me, a hazy Imperial IPA brewed with a hand-selected blend of hops giving notes of, here we go, if, if, if they go into the tropical world again, oh please, Lord. Um, here we go, mango, berries, pineapple, passion fruit, and some dankness. Broccoli is dead, but the ghost will live on. <whistles> Somebody was, I'd like to know what those guys were drinking when they put this one together but anyways let's get to the let's get to it okay it's a double dry hopped imperial india pale and at 7.8 percent almost nine percent alcohol okay this is a pardon my french this is an ass kicker and on both the alcohol end and the uh, hop end i'm expecting to get my nose <laughs> funked up I'm expecting to get my taste buds kind of rattled, if not my teeth kind of uh, cleaned on this one. So, and also, let's not forget the haze. This is gonna be a buxom, real kick butt beer. Let's crack this open and see if it meets those expectations. Okay. It looks like there was some floating stuff in there. I do not shake up a can of beer before I pour it. No. And I'm not too pleased about having to swirl it afterwards either. <clears throat> if you're going to have to do that for a beer, no, never mind. All right. It looks like it's got, a, it's got all the characteristics. It's got a great head to it. Uh, it's, it's so lush that you can't see the fermentation. But... Let's see if it is the right temperature for an ale, 50 to 55 degrees Fahrenheit. What do we got? I'm going to go to 59, but that's just a ghost on my part. 59.7. It's been out of the fridge for a while. But for an ale, I tell you, personally, I really wouldn't worry if it got even to 60, 65, because <clears throat> these little babies stand up, and that's why they don't sit down. <laughs> okay. It looks like an India Pale Ale. Uh, uh, in fact, not just an India Pale Ale, but an Imperial India Pale Ale. It's got a crown. <clears throat> Let's see if it tastes like one. Mm. 
You'll notice I took two sips. Sunday is a tasting day here in Brooklyn, and um, I've had a few. Uh, IPAs have particularly been concentrating on Brooklyn IPAs, and this is a little bit uh, different, but oh, this is, but um, I'm not too sure. It might come from Queens. I'll have to check other half. But in any event, those are just acclamation sips. Now it's time. Let's see what the olfactory folks think. Nosedive! Oh. Yeah, those are familiar. Those are very familiar. If yeah, definitely. The, uh, the mosaic. But you know these these others are that's uh, Charlie Golf X-rays, the CGXs, man. I don't know what the f they are. Let's see if the taste buds can work with the olfactory friends and sort it out. This is an incredibly, it's got a great body. First off, the body, it's got a nice body. It has a warm sensation to the mouth uh, after about five or 10 seconds. So it is up there in alcohol. But the rest of it is about as subtle as an ambassador. I tell you, I was expecting to get my teeth kicked, or as I say, my teeth cleaned, and uh, it just, this is a very deceptive beer. If I didn't know how how much alcohol was in here, I'd chug this. Enough said. So, does other half broccoli is dead double dry hopped Imperial India Pale Ale meet expectations? It doesn't. I was expecting, as I say, a a real aggressive uh, uh, ale, and it's beautifully done, but it's not what I expected. If you enjoyed this presentation, please click on the subscribe button, give us a thumbs up, and a comment. I'd really appreciate it. I'm Pete LaFrance, the old growler, hoping all of your beers meet expectations.